Well, hey, and welcome to Video Marketplace. I'm Tyler Ryan. Today we're down off of Garnish Ferry Road at Hampton Forest, and uh, with me, Bill Witchley. My friend, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Man, I Good love this. I love this house, brother. Well, thanks. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of our uh, houses at Hampton Forest, townhomes mm -hmm. that we have. We've got four different floor plans, and uh, we put a lot of effort and time into designing and tweaking it to get it just perfect for our homeowners. The, the biggest thing, of course, the biggest buzzword in the world, and, and you folks are very, very proud, is your, uh, your green certification. Yeah, very excited about that. Um, matter of fact, here at Hampton Forest, all the units that we're building from here forward will all be certified green. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the reasons we're here is because we just had our first two pass its green certification. Okay. And it's very exciting for us, so we're glad to have you here to talk to us about it. Now, there, there's four areas. There's energy, water, air. What, what all goes into that certification, those, like, those four main areas? Well, you know, ideally, uh, green is a the process, it's, it's a holistic view on mm -hmm. building a home. So each one of those categories is important in itself and it's also important that you, you know, do the work that's needed for each of those categories. Energy efficiency itself, you know, you want good energy efficiency obviously sure. because you pay an electric bill every month and um, the goal being is you want that to be as low as possible. Right. So what we've done here is we've created a, a home that is well sealed, energy efficient, it's got reflective barriers on the roof, overhangs, low mm -hmm. windows, a number of items that we've added that make it very energy efficient. So ideally that at the end of every month, if you're living here, your utility bills will be as low as they possibly could be. Okay. So that, that's the goal in energy efficiency. And the same with water too. Conservation is what green's all about. And, and with you know, low flow toilets and low flow shower heads, and we also have um, drip irrigation outside. We don't use as much water here at Hampton Forest, mm -hmm. which is nice. And, and that helps with our environment and also helps with our utility bills at the end of the month. And then air quality, you know, we all live in a home every day mm -hmm. and you don't want to come to a home that smells stuffy and, you know, causes more problems. So the idea is, is the chemicals that we use in building the house are low VOC. They don't have a lot of volatile organic what, What's a VOC? It's a volatile organic compound. So Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> paints that you use, uh, sealers, uh, caulking, uh, carpets, mm -hmm. the way your floors are finished, the finish on that, on, on your cabinets, they all contain VOCs. And ideally, you either want the products finished off-site, like pre-finished hardwood floors, as we do here in pre-finished cabinets, or you want a product that has no VOCs or very low VOCs. Okay. The paints we use are pro-green, so they have very low VOC and so it doesn't off-gas much at all. So in our homes, they're very, very healthy to live in. We put, um, for our air handlers, for the air conditioning, we put returns in every bedroom. So you get great airflow through all the rooms so you circulate that air better. Mm -hmm. And that, that really helps with the air quality in the home because it all gets filtered in each of our bedrooms. So that, that again, ties into to being green. A big part of being green is planning. Right. You know, you gotta plan ahead. You have to have your subcontractors involved. You have to have your staff involved. You have to have everybody involved, including the homeowner. We even do a home orientation mm -hmm. at the very end of the process before the home buyer actually closes on the house. And we walk them through and spend an hour going over all the little details of why the house is green, what we've done, how it works, how they need to maintain it so that they can take care of the home so it's actually a, has a holistic, a long value, sustainable value to them. It seems well. like you spend more time than a guy selling you a car. This is great. I love it. I love it. Now, are all the properties, I know you have inspired properties throughout Columbia, are yes. all of them certified here like Hampton Forest here? No, they're okay. not all certified. And it, that's, that's the difference. Now, we do practice green techniques everywhere. For example, all of our homes have low VOC paint in them. We use mm -hmm. just a pro green paint, which is a fantastic product. And um, there's a lot of things we do, like sealing the outside of the house. We have high energy efficient um, heat and cooling units. Okay. But certification process here in Columbia has just come about recently, and Hampton Forest was the first uh, neighborhood that we chose to certify all of our all of our product here. And we'll probably move forward with that in the future at other neighborhoods, but we still use a lot of those techniques, so you're still going to get a lot of benefits from purchasing an Inspire Communities house. You know, the other thing about having a green certified home is you get a $500 tax credit, so it's green, you're doing right by the environment, you get a tax credit, but what's it like to live here, Julia Deschamps? You're kind of the, the Julie McCoy, the entertainment director, right? I am. Um, I'm the head on events for Hampton Forest as well as our other seven communities. Mm -hmm. um, also assist in homeowner relations, coordinating things such as a Facebook page for all the residents here at, at Hampton Forest. Love it. Yes. How's that working? How, how does that? You go on, you just log it's on, and fabulous. Say, friends? Yes. And... Um, 
pretty much all of our residents are on Facebook. So um, we use it to tell everyone about the events that are coming up. The homeowners use it to talk to one another about, um, you know, a get together they may be having at our pool or theater. Um, or even if they need a dog sitter for the weekend, they can use it to talk to each other about all sorts of things. So I heard a rumor. A little romance, a little Wisteria Lane stuff going on here at Hampton Forest. What's yes, the news is true. There have been several um, relationships that have started from our own residents here in the community. And one couple is even planning to get married this year. So you never know what can happen when you move into a new community. So you got investment, you got like a Match.com <laughs> thing going on, a Facebook. What is there to do when you live here and you're a resident of Hampton Forest? Um, we provide so many community events, so our homeowners constantly get together at um, various functions that we have. We have a huge summer pool party um, nice. in July and it's filled with um, a band and food and dancing so that's super fun. We also have um, a really fun fall event where we provide pumpkins to each of our homeowners and then we have a contest to decorate the pumpkins and the residents porches and then we have a celebration at the end right around Halloween to um, give out awards and everyone dresses up and would you dress up as um, I was a witch <laughs> ah, the truth comes out <laughs> um, what, uh, what if somebody is sitting at home right now saying you know what that sounds really cool they're on their laptop how can they find the Facebook uh, well if you have your own Facebook account you would just log on and enter Hampton Forest into your search bar and you'll find us there add us to be your friend and we will surely accept you and your website <laughs> It's inspiredcommunities.com. Inspiredcommunities.com. Well, yes. Julia DeChamps, thank you very much. Thank you. It's a whole lot of fun here. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Let's take a walk. You want to go? Let's go. All right, come on. <laughs>